review for this week, and um, nothing has really changed. We are just meandering along. Uh, we're oscillating around 61.8%, two-thirds of this range from this period of time when it started here all the way down to here, which was its projected low end. That's where the extreme of it is. Um, I don't think we'll get to 2K, but it's possible. It's, and that's the statistical projection um, on the very severe end. Uh, usually it would go two thirds to, you know, around 88.6% of this range. And so it usually gets trapped within here before um, when it comes towards the end and then reverses back up and the game starts all over again. So we're looking for this to just uh, to have continued downside into the uh, towards the end of the month and uh, we'll see. Uh, so far it's just oscillating around the 61.8% of this box um, that was calculated ahead of time before you know. So we'll see. Um, there's really not much to look at. We do have now a one, two, three set up in the opposite direction where we had one over here in that direction. But again, we're just really going sideways and oscillate. You know, that's kind of a good sign. That's consolidation. And as we move towards the end of July, um, or further into July, uh, uh, that selling should dissipate. And once that does, then we can start looking for our upward trajectories and numbers. And that's all there is to it. That's all I'm looking for. Again, I'm not going to probably sell anything. I could sell some up here, but I'm like, mm, I think I'm just going to hold and uh, wait for numbers above that 8, 118, 894. Um, that's the minimum target. And I like it. Um, Looking at where we are right now, you would never even think, you know, that's going to be a possibility. But I've seen stranger things, and I'm just going to go with this, the numbers. I don't argue with them. Um, now, what else do we have? Let's take a look at XRP. XRP, same boat as um, Bitcoin, just meandering around. Um, Again, I wouldn't be a seller of any of it until it gets above 127. Uh, let's look at Litecoin. Litecoin, again, the same boat as everybody else. Wouldn't be looking for this until above 235. And what else do I have? I also have Ethereum. Same boat as everybody else. I wouldn't be looking for this until above that around 3K, let's say. And up there. And I've uh, bought, and the only thing I could look for from here is if Bitcoin can get down to the lower numbers. And if we can get, you know, uh, there's a lot of FUD out right now with the ransomware attack from Russia, um, which is a bad thing, but a good thing too, um, uh, because you'll get a lot of FUD off of that, and, and it'll be, the governments will be calling to end Bitcoin and all of that, so. Maybe that'll be the impetus to push us lower so I can get these souls down here. Um, now, I was asked a question that made sense. Uh, what will I do if we come to the end of this month and we have not gone below these numbers to fill uh, the rest down here? Uh, and maybe we even go up higher. Well, there's a good chance I'm just going to buy and I'm not going to care so much about the price as long as we're under, you know, um, 40k. I would say I'll, I'll uh, even maybe a little bit higher. Uh, anything under this 45, uh, which we should stay to, towards the end, uh, and then I'll just buy, even if I have to pay higher prices, uh, because again, you guys know what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for anything but these numbers up here. And nothing to do until that really now I could sell some you know when the pattern fills above here that would be logical um, that's an option uh, you know again I don't tell people what to do with their money I'm not a financial advisor but uh, I do tell you what I think is wise 
and selling some here on a technical level makes sense and uh, we'll see at some point it's going to have to go back above that 49 mid 49k level and uh, fill all the way back up to there now how it does it whether it drops first or you know whatever that's up to the market I don't really care um, but that's the minimum the very very mirror and that's kind of a, a bearish type of you know I want to look at the longer term and the numbers that go all the way up here that's what I'm more interested in um, I I've seen the volumes and again it's little guys selling and big guys buying and they do it in chunks and you can see it in the way the, the volume moves remember I spent many years tape reading um, so the institutions love the FUD um, it works for them to get uh, liquidity and to get fills in their orders so makes sense um, now I did think it was interesting China went over and attacked <laughs> uh, the recent companies that IPO'd in the United States uh, for their own ride hailing services their own companies in China which is kind of really stupid but hey um, good for them and the the more that we don't trust the communists the better off we are because they're not they lie cheat and steal and they're they're not good players for the world stage and all they're gonna do is push every the the capitalism that they've enjoyed for the past 20 30 years um, you know they're they're gonna exit themselves out of the system and if they want to lose money you know and they think they can go it alone and say screw you to the world well keep keep doing what you're doing and uh, they'll, they'll learn the hard way that uh, you know we have an integrated economy around the world and you you're not everybody or everything and unfortunately they're very arrogant and they think that they they have the right to tell everybody else what to do and um, no uh, so they're gonna probably learn the hard way and it might get ugly but that's life um, other than that uh, nothing's changed uh, you know It'll be an interesting week with all the political turmoil and all that garbage. And uh, the Fed is coming out this morning, so we'll see what the numbers are there. But everything in the United States looks really good as far as the numbers go. So um, status quo for now. Uh, numbers to the downside for Bitcoin so far this morning. And it's looking a little ominous here. And again, I'm hoping to get the fills down here. That would be a good thing. Uh, with all the FUD that's around, come on, push. <laughs> some some of the retail players panic. <laughs> um, anyway, that's what I'm looking for, and uh, we'll see. Uh, and I will talk to you later in the week. Have a great week.